Oh, this is the first steep part of the double oak climb. <coughs> uh, switch over to the, there you go, 14% right here. <coughs> That's the, the next steep part right there. You just have to really maybe right at 20 or just under 18 to 19 for just a second and then it drops back down so yeah I'm gonna see if I can do this with one hand I may not be able to do this Three miles an hour. All right. Now this is the next bit. Get a little bit of a rest here. 10%, 11%, and then it kicks back up again, <clears throat> just for a little bit. Ooh. Check out the spider web all the way across the road. Nice big giant spider, yuck go home all right gotta love it when you can ride on a road at two in the afternoon and there's a spider web stretched across the entire road and I for sure cannot do the next part with one hand so I'm gonna film up to it and then stop and start again this is where you sort of gauge whether or not you're gonna be able to go all the way up to the top if there's cars parked here oh sweet or if the gates open then that's a bad sign no cars gate locked that's a good sign should be able to scoot on up here pretty quick. Another spider web. That's the gate. Get one little rough section of road. Helps to have a a little bit of momentum. <clears throat> There's already grooves in the pavement here. For traction. It's not particularly steep. 12%. All right, I'm gonna stop this for a second. Oh heck, I'll just run it. Gotta pick up your bike. See the bruise in the pavement here. flat section. <laughs> I 
depth if you hand back around. Ridge line on across, across the way. Now this is the steep section, 25%. So I'm going to put the camera sideways so I can hold onto the bar with two hands. There's crickets everywhere. Wow, so much easier. There's all kinds of, see if I can turn it sideways, there's all kinds of um, grooves on the ground. Traction. Thought I heard a car. Bad news. Just for fun, take the inside of the switch back here. Because this is the top. So that was a oh, just under 400 feet climb, probably 300 from where I started filming, and uh, how it rolls. I've got a really low front tire, so I really don't want to pinch flat, but I'm going to keep filming anyway. There's a bunch of little roller rollers through here. No handed here for a minute. See in Alabama, this is what gives you all the elevation gain. You know, you got these rollers in the middle of a climb. The, the worst pavement is up here, but it's just some gravel. Now this is a long flat section. A little bit of downhill even. Kills the elevation gain on this climb. But it's such a big vertical difference anyway. Um, it's still a great climb. Travel sections here. The 
Texas. I wonder about the property of Access Road for some radio towers. It's also a hunting, hunting property. So, November, pretty much November to the end of January. sort of on the we're not at the top but we're along the side of it just very slowly going up that right here is where it starts to kick up again it's the 1300 foot spot up around here yeah that little plateau thing blah Seven percent. A little flat now, but it kicks up again, close to fifteen percent here in a sec to get you up to the fourteen hundred foot spot, and that's on ridge number one. It's a double ridge up here at the top, about a hundred and twenty foot drop or so. A little more, actually, 150 maybe in between the ridges. And this road just dives straight down the Double Oak Way roller coaster. There's a, I haven't been up here in a while. A little tentative to film it one handed going down. Right here too is where you're always listening for oh, or you're like okay just gotta make it to the top of the ridge line or somebody tells me to leave okay one of the largest houses in Alabama is in Shoal Creek over here and it's visible in the winter the, the lawn entrance is shaped like a guitar. You see the frets and everything. Kind of cool. Of course, you can't even see off the ridge line right now. So many trees. Okay. Yeah, we're going up. Really? Not too bad, like 15%, but one hand sitting down. Normally, 
I got two hands to start to sprint right here to go down the roller coaster, which you hit immediately. It's really narrow. This is the in two seconds here, we'll cross the ridge line. Okay, straight down. This is the climb up to the second ridge line. Oh, what happened? Oh, we're not there yet. <laughs> oh, how funny. I'm so used to carrying about 30 miles an hour or more momentum. Thought the, the hunting road was gone. Normally you carry your momentum all the way up to here. It's upper 40s, maybe 50 on the way down. That's the hunting road. They've done work on it very recently. See the straw. Getting ready for the hunting season. Okay. This video is extremely long. Trying to go a little faster. <clears throat> this is just under 20, maybe about 20. The turn up there. And I'm not going to film, I want to go faster on the way back, I'm not going to film any of it. Just the climb. This descent, turn around at the top, this is the faster way. Go down the roller coaster, you easily hit 50. Even today with that crap at the bottom, you can get close to 50 and then just stay straight. Need more momentum. Here's the towers. The microwave tower. And that's actually a regional weather radar right there. And that is the top of Double Oak Way. It's actually got its own address, 7999 Double Oak Way.